welcome Virgo to your October 27th through the 31st reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you. 27th through the 31st please. It does feel like from October 25th or so, probably around that solar eclipse, there has been a major shift. Um, it also could be within yourself of the way you're feeling, also just within the atmosphere around you. So definitely feeling that. So. And best message coming out is Seven of Wands. Still feeling like you are putting up maybe some barriers um, to face a challenge. And let's clarify on this. Um, definitely two of wands from whatever you are facing. I um, mean, it does feel like waiting for these ships to come in, what decisions need to be made. So it does feel like you are in some kind of challenge mode at this time, really trying to figure out which way it is to go, but not really having the 100% surety that whatever you're looking at will actually happen. Um, it does feel like from the 27th through the 31st though, that um, I'm not going to really put too much thought into the situation right now. I'm going to keep my barriers up um, about the situation, but I'm going to kind of let it go a little bit um, with the two of wands upside down, um, right? Because you're saying it's not concluded yet, but I think I'm going to try to kind of take a little bit of a break from it. There's a little confusion to this situation, and I think that that's why you're actually kind of navigating away from the situation at this time. Um, whether it's a relationship or career or whatever your situation is, it does feel like I'm not going to give it too much thought at this time. Um, yeah, starting to think that the grass may be greener in other areas, but not really traveling. Yeah, wow. But not really. Look, guys, right now the whole thing is, is I'm not going to take the risk at this time. You know, where I was thinking about the situation, I'm putting it kind of on hold right now because you don't want to make it to the point to where you're not going to get the victory that you want. So actually, you know, you're standing your ground for the challenge, but not giving it too much thought at this time actually activates a different kind of emotion, which gives out a different energy. And therefore, right, everything that I'm kind of confused about, I'm kind of putting on the back burner right now. And, you know, it's almost Halloween time. You know, a lot of people, you guys want to hang out with your kids. You want to hang out with your friends. You want to have some Halloween fun, however it is. Um, so you're kind of cold shouldering the situation as you are moving through it right now because you don't want anybody stepping on your toes. Um, you don't want anybody stealing your thunder. So whatever you might have that could be a decision, you might even be keeping to yourself um, and not putting it out, you know, to other people um, as you're you know, trying to do other things. And that's really what it feels like. So even if you are thinking of maybe leaving a relationship or thinking that the grass could be greener somewhere else, you're just kind of leaving it alone right now. Um, you know, kind of, I would say going with the flow, um, not giving it too much, right? Not giving it too much thought. Going for what your passion really is. And that's just where the kind of the fun is. I'm just going to kind of do what I need to do, bringing in other dynamics to my life at this time, not allowing that to put me out in the cold, right? Because there could even be, you know what? Maybe they're cold shouldering me. Maybe I'm putting them out in the cold about the situation. But however it is, it's more like I'm not going to make this in just yet. Um, I'm definitely just going to ignore this situation. Because it does cause a lot of confusion. And a lot of you, it is a love relationship. Some kind of commitment. If it's not a love relationship, it's just whatever commitments that you have. Um, you know where your commitments are. It's just that right now, I don't want to stay too tuned to this. Looking for other blessings. So I'm just going to continue to keep offering. This person could continue to just keep offering you the love. And you're just going to, you know, you're just kind of navigating around it. Um, and giving the care and... and yeah, come hoeing the situation and just kind of giving the care and nurturing that it needs at this time until you really face the situation, um, whatever the challenge is. Standing your ground for the challenge, though, um, at this time still brings you into hum ho's feeling of the prosperities of the Queen of Coins. So, so yes, just trying to keep yourself just as happy as possible at this time. 
no conflict, right? I've already got some confusion. I don't want any more conflict. So with the six of wands in reverse, yep, there it is. Not giving it any recognition or reward at this time. Really not giving um, too much thought to that. Taking what you what you need to take, giving what you need to take, but it doesn't feel like you're over giving or over taking. You see, that's what it is. That's why cold shoulder situation. This keeps the ball within your court, though, um, and this gives you the power that you need to get through what you need, and it also keeps you encouraged to continue doing what you need to do instead of feeling discouraged um, about this whole situation. There's definitely a little bit of a toxic energy over here. You might be dealing with someone who is a little more aggressive. Maybe they have an aggressive tone. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel that they may be a little bit of an aggressor, um, right? We definitely have some uh, some issues over here. Um, on the professional responsibility area over here, I'm going to bring that in besides just relationship. Um, there, are, it, there are definitely professional responsibilities that you need to take on over here. But it is also prompting you to rethink the direction that you're going in, right? Because there's something going on that didn't go your way. Um, and this is going to motivate you to achieve some kind of new direction. Um, but it's also going to kind of surround you with some kind of supporter or mentor around you. And it definitely could be this Sagittarius over here um, that is helping you along the way or this Scorpio. Um, and it's definitely going to be one of those things that it's like, okay, this is a positive situation, but because somebody else is involved within this professional area within your life, it's almost like you're giving them time. And that could be a huge reason why you're kind of stepping down a little bit too from taking on that extra action, guys, right? So really wanting to look at that as, you know, you're kind of rediscovering the things that you need. You know you want this cup and you're really going to go after this cup. But you really need to figure out how am I going to get that cup? Because this is where the intuition to want to get to the where you can achieve the success either within the relationship or the, the career, right? This is both, um, you know, is really going to take some thinking time. So right now is just a great time to rest easy, enjoy yourself, and just really get the peace of mind that you need while you're really moving into this new direction of whichever situation love situation, career situation. It could even be two in one, my friends. Okay, so just looking at that, and it does show that through doing such a thing, you're going to gather even more strength um, as you're doing so. And you can see the hopes and promises really starting to improve within your life, especially through the career because we're looking at money. So when we're talking about the money area over here, you're going to see the improvement of money. Okay. When it comes to the relationship, it looks like it's more like going to be walking kind of on a, a walking stick over here, being determined to figure out the situation when it comes to the relationship. You know, they kind of got you walking on broken glass. You're going to have to make the decision on which way you're going to want to go, um, you know, when it comes to that. So all that's going to do is make you think more about what it is um, that you truly want within that relationship. Is it going to bring you into a different direction with this loved one? You know, or are you going to, you know, move away somewhere else for the victory? And it's going to be, you know, absolutely up to you in this situation. Everybody's story is a little different, you know, but it's definitely going to give you the time to think clearly about the relationship of what it is you want. And uh, I love the Ace of Swords because it can definitely say it's also giving you the clarity and understanding to what, um, if any, situation is going on. But you're going to end up with this kind of enthusiastic feeling towards um, definitely the career area with the Ace of Coins over here because you know this is what's going to motivate you to want to get you really moving towards this dream that you have or this project or however it is that you're moving towards. Okay. On the, like I said, on the love relationship, it's going to just give you the extra opportunity to figure out is the grass really greener somewhere else? Can I really deal with this person? Is this person really right for me? Um, but at least it's going to allow you to get, you know, some kind of clarity on that situation. Okay. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.
Thank you.